George. God rest his soul, who thought he'd ever come down to this? Frankly, I didn't know where to start. I didn't want to know where to start. So I went back to the place I first met George. God rest his soul. I went back to Conley's bar, hoping they wouldn't know anything. Praying they wouldn't know anything. Yeah, I didn't. Who's there? Hank, it's me, Johnny. Uh, Johnny, Johnny scared me. I need to ask you a couple simple questions. I need you to tell me the honest to God truth. What do you know about a George Waterman? A George Waterman? Hey, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Johnny, we know ourselves better than to kill with that. George, we all know George was the case of getting shot over drugs. Happens to the best of us. And sometimes to the rest of us. George was clean. You know it. I will tell you one thing though, Johnny. And I am almost, a, almost ashamed to admit this. The night, Johnny. The night that George got shot, a man comes into my bar, asks me if I have any guns for sale. I don't sell any guns. I, I, I run a bar. I don't run a gun shop. I don't sell guns. So of course I tell him to take a hike. And and he did. He took he took a hike. But I I can describe him to you, John. And describe him word for word. So now I had good news and I had bad news. Hank's description matched the man I knew downtown. Bad news. This man wasn't going to be easy to get, get to. Mafia boss, yo, John Ann. What kind of mother names our kid, you? Yeah, this man was a dark lord amongst dark men. And leader of a mafia <laughs> the leader of the mafia now how this man had connections to George's death I don't know he might not have but when a mob boss goes into a bar asking for a gun a couple blocks down on the same night as George's death you have to ask why